Hi, I'm designer blacksmith Joshua Delisle and I'm about to show you how to make eyes on the end of a bar. Now there are many ways of creating eyes, but for me I need to be able to make them as efficiently as possible because I have 130 that I need to make and possibly this is how they'll come in batches of 130. So I want to aim to get these in about a day. So that means reducing the time to about three minutes per eye. So let's see if I can do it, shall we? So I'm just about to set up my gas forge now, but the first thing I'm going to do is spray around all the joins and connections with a bit of uh, washing up liquid in water. And basically that will let me see if there are any leaks, because where there are leaks, there will be bubbles. No, 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 this isn't fast enough. We need to find a better way of making these much quicker. Keeping the bar on the jig uh, to do it in a single heat rather than repeating it in the forge was a much better idea. And as you can see, by running it through the jig several times, it closed that gap, really tightening it up without needing to go to the anvil. But can it be done quicker? Later on I found that there was no need to use the scrolling dogs anymore and that I could actually get the kinks and stuff out uh, simply using the jig itself. So you see as I'm bending this round I've tried to maximise uh, the efficiency of the heat but it's left an awful kink at the top. Um, but simply by opening it back up using the, um, the jig itself and then reclosing it back up for some reason it takes that kink straight back out. And as you can see, it's perfectly round again. 
and there's just enough heat left in there to complete the, um, the scrolling of the eye, tightening it all up in a few simple movements. Perfectly round and satisfyingly quick. Okay, so I've gone about halfway through. So I've done approximately 75 or something like that, but I've been forced to stop. Uh, and it's for a reason I really should have thought about, really. But the gas bottle was, uh, it was kind of nearing empty anyway. But through um, constant usage, the things start to ice up. Now, one of the things you could do to prevent this from happening, from stopping it from getting icy, that is, um, is to stick it in a big bucket of water. Now, I haven't got one big enough for this, so I have got another gas bottle. Uh, it means a little trip out to get it, which has broken up my day. So although we got the making of extremely efficient, the organisation of it is what uh, <laughs> stopped me from getting it all done in one day. Uh, one good point, uh, it's so hot you can see I'm really sweaty. Loads of heat comes off this gas forge when it's in full blow. Um, but things to be careful of is obviously carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide build up. So, that's the reason why I've got both a fan, the big door, and the back door open as well to try, to try and create as much air through as possible so I'm not poisoning myself. So it's very dangerous. If you're not too sure, don't do it, basically. So on gas, it's obviously the opposite hand thread. So instead of righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, it's righty-loosey, lefty-tighty. Uh, and then when you put the PTFE tape on to help produce a good seal, it's going that way, so you need to have it pointing in the direction of the thread. So when I thread it in like that, it's going the opposite way. the leak. See the bubbles? So let's see how fast we can weld them. Pretty good. How did it turn out then? Spot on. So just getting dark. Here they are, all done. So I hope you all enjoyed that. They came down to about within the three minutes, two and a half to three minutes. So that's spot on what I was aiming to get them done by. Uh, so out of interest, before I leave you, I just want to pose a question. You can actually buy in the drop forged rings that you can either weld or thread on. For about three pounds each. Now I know that we took like two and a half to three minutes to make one of those. How much would you charge labour time to do those? Say you had a batch of a hundred and you did a jig just like I did. So not including the metal or, um, or the gas and all this kind of stuff, but the labour charge. What is your value on doing just exactly what I did? So 
two and a half to three minutes each. Leave a comment below what you think and uh, it'll be an interesting conversation. Until next time, happy forging a life worth living. See you later. Bye-bye.